What do we have here? It's a limited edition of Albert Einstein by the artist Halsman. Was okay. the cover of Time magazine. Einstein was a genius. I mean, he came up with uh, relativity. No sh Einstein. I came to the uh, pawn shop to sell an original photograph of Albert Einstein. Years ago, I had an art gallery in Southern California and have had this in my collection ever since. I really want $10,000, probably go down to eight. I mean, I just really love the picture. Einstein was a really interesting individual. For a guy to write a paper that basically rewrote every physics book in the world while he was a patent clerk. <laughs> Kind of off the chart. He was so smart. An amazing guy, and he was a fun guy, too. You know, I mean, you see pictures of him in the 40s and the 50s riding bicycles. Albert Einstein is basically the rock star of scientists. I mean, name another scientist whose face most people instantly recognize. So this is done by Halsman? Yes. Halsman was famous for his portraiture. The detail that he was able to achieve. I mean, just look at those eyes. It, it can grab you. Yeah, I mean, you can literally see every pore, every detail of his face. I, mean, I love that this thing is signed by the photographer. That can bump the price way up. But this could be a high-quality reprint, so I have to get it checked out before I throw any money down. You know, it's a really famous photo. It's 80 of 99. There was a lot of photographers out there. I don't know if Halsman ever did it, but they would put out a limited edition, make a slightly bigger size, put out a limited edition, a slightly different size, and it really waters down the value. Uh, let me call up a buddy of mine to come down and take a look at it. We'll get this thing figured out. OK. I have no thoughts of anything but authenticity. I welcome having an expert take a look at it. Hey, Brett, Corey, what's going on, buddy? How are you? I'm doing wrong. Albert Einstein. Yes. Don't make me talk physics. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason I became an art appraiser. Very nice. The guys have been kind enough to call me down here on an all manner of appraisal, but mostly fine art, two-dimensional pieces, and occasionally some sculpture as well. Do you know much about the photographer? Yeah. He's uh, a Latvian-born, immigrated to this country. Actually, Albert Einstein himself helped get him to this country in 1940, uh, right when the Germans were storming Europe. And it was here that he really became famous for his portraiture. He did almost every 20th century icon you can think of. He had some famous shots of Marilyn Monroe, Salvador Dali. He really went to great lengths during the interview process, talking with his subjects. He would ask impertinent questions. He would tell raunchy jokes, all to prompt a reaction. And I'm sure that's what happened in this case. It's an interesting piece because it's just Einstein being Einstein. There's really nothing fancy about the piece. It just captures him deep in thought, the piercing eyes, the wild hair, the unkempt mustache, all the things that made Einstein who he was. And I think that's what draw people to that particular photograph. Now, do you have any concerns about this piece, Rick? Um, yeah, I just want to make sure that this Halsman didn't put out multiple prints with the same numbers. Is everything legit and good? Sure. As far as I know, this is the only edition piece of this particular image. It's the right type of paper, the right photographic paper. It's a silver gelatin print. The detail is very high. It's not something that's third or fourth generation. This is obviously from the original negative. I'm familiar with Halsman's work. The signature looks dead on from the other prints that I've seen. So everything matches up. It looks legitimate to me. So what does something like this go for? This piece has a lot going for it. I mean, it's, it's an iconic image, famous photographer, famous subject, great condition, one of the best condition prints I've seen in a long time. It's presented well. I mean, unsigned pieces I've seen sell for four and $5,000. I think a signed and numbered piece could sell at auction or in the right venue from seven to $8,000. Okay. Thanks, man. Hey, really appreciate it. Pleasure. My pleasure, Rick. To hear seven or eight coming from somebody with his knowledge and his background, then that's where it should be. What do you realistically want for it? I walked in looking for ten thousand. I'll go seventy-five. Is there enough in it for you at the there's seventy-five? No, there's nothing in it for me. I have overhead here. I have a mortgage. No, I, uh, I hear you. I will give you five grand. That is the most I can go. Literally, you yourself said you owned a gallery. If you had a, something on the wall that you were going to get seven to eight thousand for in your gallery, you wouldn't have paid over five. Uh, I, th I just, I'm a believer in true sign numbered art that it continues to go up every year. I'll go seven. The art market is tough right now, and I'm just not getting the numbers I use. I mean, I'll go five. That's cash money. I decided to separate at a number, and I've come off that number. 
but I, I, I can't come off in half. Okay. It's just, it's just too far. I understand. Thanks for coming in, though. I'm going to take it home, put it back on the wall where it's been in place before, that I'm going to look at every morning, get an incentive every time I look into his eyes.